So as a concierge physical therapist, I'm often treating people with back pain. It's the most common and prevalent condition out there, and a subset of that pain is sciatica. And when we're thinking about sciatica, we're thinking about pain into the glute and down the leg that may go into the calf or the foot. It's severe, and it may or may not have numbness and tingling and weakness. Actually, to be true sciatica, it needs to have both of those things, but it also could be radiculopathy. But anyways, you're having discomfort into your glute, down the leg, numbness, tingling, pain, it's hard to move, you may have some weakness, you may or may not know if you have weakness or not, but we're gonna talk about which one gets better. Does the pain get better faster or if the numbness get better faster? We're gonna talk about that today, here we go. So when I see a patient, they are in front of me, they have a lot of discomfort, they're having the numbness and tingling down their leg and they're having pain at the same time. And so remember, sciatica, it could be in the hamstring, it can go into the calf, into the foot, and so they're looking at me and they're like, when am I gonna get better? So let's break that down a little bit. So when I'm talking about sciatica and numbness and pain, um, there are different parts of the spinal cord that, that are responsible for that or the nerve roots, okay? So the nerve has different responsibilities. And so two of those responsibilities are pain and numbness. And so when I'm looking at the patient right in front of me on day one, let's pretend this is time down here. So the length of time down this way. And then let's let's talk about severity of symptoms, all right? We'll just put a little star because I don't want to make a crossbone like everything is bad, right? Severity of symptoms and at the very beginning. And so symptoms regarding pain and numbness and tingling. So let's do numbness and tingling in red or black and pain in red. So let's do numbness and tingling first and then pain. And so when you're talking high levels of pain in the first initial onset, and then this is where typically people are like, oh my gosh, things are awful, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. They may go to the ED or the urgent care or see a PT hopefully, but they're usually thinking about muscle relaxers and high levels of pain medication uh, just to get through that initial bout. Nerve pain is no joke, like hot, sharp, burning, discomfort, hot poker down the leg, absolutely no joke, okay? So they're talking about this high level of pain and then they start to have numbness at the same time. Let's say pretty severe amount of numbness. They're noticing that their calf is tingly, their foot is tingly, certain distributions are really tingly, starting to feel numb, they feel it, it feels really off. And so now they have these high levels of pain and numbness and tingling early on in their um, onset of discomfort, whether that be from XYZ, whatever they did. So as we notice in the timeline of recovery we're treating sciatica, well, People really care about pain first, and so that's really our first thing to get better. You may have some numbness, but people are like, I need to get rid of this pain, I can live with the numbness. So we focus on pain, and then that's typically how our body heals too, is that we typically have a reduction in pain over time. And so it really starts off severe, it kind of hits mild pretty quickly, and then it can linger on for a bit, and that pathway of recovery can kind of look like this. And so you have a pretty sharp dip first, and then a timeline of recovery down. And for, for most sciatica and nerve healing, I mean, you're looking at eight to 10 weeks, and you're gonna really start feeling better in your pain life. And so if you're doing conservative care, you're being smart about it, you're listening to your body, you're putting your team around you, so that eight to 10 weeks or so, you should notice some improvement, some gradual improvement in, neuro, in the severity of symptoms and the pain. Now, if you're trying to tackle it on your own, you're not doing anything, you're not listening to your body, maybe you've got other stuff that's going on too, other comorbidities, maybe you're a little bit older and also have some disc, disc stuff involved or um, other things that you know I may not be thinking about, but other comorbidities can just extend that timeline. If you don't eat well, um, you're not recovering well, you're not sleeping well, you're not having a good nutrition. And so all of those things can impact recovery. Now, let's circle back to that, but then let's talk about numbness. And so numbness comes from the, it's called paresthesias. And so it comes from the compression onto the nerve and it's causing the signal of the nerve to that area to be a little diluted. It's a little um, off, okay? And so when you're having that numbness, it tends to just be more of a linear discomfort, a linear improvement over time. And so you'll notice a gradual recovery in that numbness. It's not really, you can wake up and have um, much more numbness. So sometimes that can happen and it can vary day to day, but it's like a much more linear and there's not as much fluctuation. And then if you've ever had pain, you know that pain can be a lot of up and down like this and it gradually get better, but it can gradually have that up and down. If you're drawing another graph here, that it's not quite as linear, not quite as pretty. There's a lot more variability with pain than there is numbness. And so when I'm working with that client and they're sitting right in front of me and like, which one's gonna get better first? And when can I expect this to get better? 
Well, here's my spiel. I tell them, well, you're gonna notice pain's gonna get better faster. It could be variable, but in eight to 10 weeks, if you're having a severe sciatica, a less severe case, even quicker, eight to 10 weeks you should, be, should be noticeably better if you do the right things for your body, right things being rest, recovery, exercises, nutrition, listening to your body, t make, teaming up with somebody that's gonna help you keep you off the, the ledge of things. Um, and you know, some people get interventions along the way that include injections or medications or XYZ, but the evidence says that conservative care really rest and protect and just gentle mobilization and exercise can help. Now we talk about things such as nerve glides and other things. Um, as soon as we get over that initial really acute discomfort, kind of in this region here, we start talking about those nerve glides and you know healing those pinched nerve with exercise, which I have a lot of other videos about. So in regards to the numbness, they have that gradual improvement over time. Maybe their calf is a little bit numb and they're having this discomfort. And I tell them that I wouldn't get hung up on the numbness quite as much because it will get better and it, it may take a long time. In some, cases, in some patients of mine, in some cases, if it's really severe, they may not get 100% of their sensation back. And so the light touch may be a little bit off. They can just tell they've got some spiders or where they feel it, it just feels off. And so unfortunately that can happen sometimes depending on the severity of sciatica and the cause of it, right? Difference between, there's a difference between sciatica that's caused from stenosis or sciatica caused from disc stuff. And so I have other videos on that as well. Um, but anyways, like if you're, ha if you're having the expectation that these will get better, together at the same time, that's not gonna happen, right? Most of the time that does not happen. But you will notice the thing that you care about most, the discomfort, the pain, does get better before the numbness. And so we really care about the discomfort and pain because you can live your life with a little bit of numbness. You cannot live quite as well if you're in a lot of discomfort. And by live quite well as well, I mean work, do the things that you love, exercise, take care of your body, X, Y, Z. And so where PT comes in, a movement professional like myself, when I work with patients that are going through this, we try to manage all of this as we go because there are things that we could do to improve each to make this ride, this, <laughs> this ride, this recovery that much more enjoyable knowing that you will get better if we do the right things. And if you're noticing any type of increase over time in pain and numbness, we could figure out why. And those are some of the things that I track during my session and that we figure out, okay, like if you're having an increased numbness, why? Like, is this something we need to get looked at or have further testing for or increase discomfort without any explanation? So what I mean by that is like, if you're doing right and you're doing on the well recovery, then you have this huge spike for no reason. Like that's different than um, like if you are feeling good one day and you go out and do a bunch of things and then you have an increase in discomfort. So it really, in the pathway of sciatica and having that Im improvement of pain and weakness, or excuse me, pain and numbness over time, it can be a little variable, but it does happen. It does improve. I've seen it many, many times. And if you do things such as nerve mobilizations, some gentle strengthening, even walking, like you just team up with somebody, figure out the best approach for you. There is no one size fits all, unfortunately. And that's what makes it fun and complicated at the same time and that you do get better, but everybody's pathway to recovery looks a little bit different. So will you recover? Yes, the pain does get better before the numbness, but they both get better over time with the right things. And then if you have an increase in any of those things over time that we need to be taking a look at that. So I hope you find that useful. It's one of my favorite things to talk about because if I can just set the expectations early of what your recovery should look like, it's going to feel better. Now, I don't care if you, if you watch that whiteboard or this whiteboard, but I hope you guys enjoyed um, what I talked about today, but you will get better. Just team up with somebody to help you along the way. There's a lot can be done um, in, in, in the middle there. And uh, if you take care of your body, it will take care of you. So leave some comments underneath the description. But otherwise, guys, stay healthy, keep moving, and take care of yourself.